Hi, everyone. My name is Prakash Chandra, and I'm one of the co-founders and the CEO of Xano. Here with me today is the CEO and founder of WeWeb. I'm sure a lot of you have heard of WeWeb before. We have a lot of users that love using Xano with WeWeb. And I have here uh, Raphael Goldstein, uh, the founder and the CEO. So welcome, Raphael. Thanks. Thanks for having me. You know, one of the things that uh, we are trying to do with these videos is give users a sense of uh, the person behind who's building the product, why they're building the product, and uh, when it makes sense to use, for example, a tool like WeWeb. So uh, I'd love for you to just start at a very high level and describe what WeWeb is and why you created it. So WeWeb is basically a, a front-end builder and dedicated to build web applications. So you can consider that WeWeb um, is like Webflow, but for web applications. And the philosophy of WeWeb is that it's decoupled. So it's basically only a front-end builder um, and you will have to pair it um, with a decoupled uh, backend. And so that's why the, uh, the stack like Xano uh, and WeWeb can make a lot of sense. There's a lot of people that are obviously considering different front ends, and some of those front ends are all in one solutions, right? They're a web application builder, and then there's a database. Um, can you talk to us a little bit about why you decided to have this decoupled experience and only focus on the front end side of things? You know, as the, the web itself was kind of tending towards being decoupled for many uh, obvious reasons, the first one being, for example, performance. Second one could be, you know, having, you know, one backend as a single source of, of truth to have multiple front ends. Uh, we foresaw that uh, it could make sense to also have no code platforms that would be focused on either the backend or the front end rather than doing both. Um, and so we chose to focus on the front end, especially because our CTO is, um, is a front end fan, basically. Um, and then, so we went out and, you know, discussed with various people in the market, you know, IT teams, product teams. Um, and we realized that, you know, for most of them out there who already ha uh, had chosen uh, a backend, they didn't have a no-code option really to build a, a front-end on top of it. They would have to tinker, you know, with the existing platforms because uh, they would have to you know, integrate the database and backend into uh, the existing platforms, which creates a ton of performance issues, uh, reliability issues, uh, security issues uh, as well. And so thus we decided to enable them to benefit from no code without having to, to have to change their backend. Yeah. And I think that just being focused on the front end probably gives you a lot more breathing room to focus on all of the features required to be a great uh, front end web application builder. Now, one of the things that you said was you want to be the web, uh, web flow uh, for web applications. Talk a little bit about what separates you, what makes you kind of the web flow caliber uh, versus a lot of the other tools that might be out there. I think, you know, web flow is, a, is an amazing platform to build a front end, I mean, you can be really pixel perfect. And so that's, you know, that's the objective. So, so WeWeb is, uh, is very customizable and you can, you can generate uh, pixel perfect uh, front ends. Uh, and so I think that's what makes us very close to, to Webflow. And also that's what uh, basically makes us different from other platforms. Uh, let's say if you consider, I don't know, um, let's say Softer or Stacker, I think are great tools to build um, web applications fast, but you cannot really customize uh, the front end. And that's how we are different. Um, Bubble is also another great tool to build custom web applications, but I think our front end uh, builder is more precise um, than, than their front end uh, generator. In WeWeb, we have, you can create um, uh, front end no code functions um, and you basically to have a reactive uh, web application. Uh, why Webflow is more focused on static websites, obviously. You know, when it comes to that precision, being pixel perfect, you know, we often say at Xano that, you know, the devil is in the details. I think we were saying this when we were not recording, but when you really need to have that fine grain control, that's when you'd come to like a tool like Xano. And similarly for the front end, it sounds like that's what WeWeb enables users to do. Correct, yes. And if I can add another thing um, as well, 
is that you know behind the curtains what we web is generating for our users is actually standard code and that's what also makes us very close to what webflow does and i think that's an amazing thing that they do you know you kind of no code your your static website and eventually you have a very clean and sleek html css that you can deploy anywhere and so we do the same um, but for web applications so what you when you build with we web behind the curtains we, we basically write for you a standard Vue.js application and that code you can uh, you know export it and then you can play with it and then you can you know deploy it on your infrastructure uh, if you want you can run it through through your ci cd so it's really like it's really like if a real you know like expert front end developer would be building wow. your your web application for you as you give him kind of um, uh, you know a brief through the ui of of weweb so that that's really fantastic and that's what makes it very scalable too if the no code editor is not sufficient if you have let's say very complex uh, data visualization uh, component that you need for your web application you can code it and then WeWeb can connect to your GitHub, import it in, in, in the editor, and then you can drag and drop it anywhere. Um, and then it will be rendered in your application as a standard uh, Vue.js component in a Vue.js app. That's amazing. I actually had no idea uh, that you had that capability. So it's really yes. in terms of what you're able to do on the front end. Yeah, it, it means that you don't basically don't have any limits. That just leads me to my next question about your users. Like, who are the types of users that you serve? Yeah, so mostly are um, you know product teams and and IT teams. So it's interesting to see that we actually have a lot of developers using WeWeb. You know, some developers who have like I don't know many many years of experience, and they say you know I don't want to have to learn you know React or Vue.js again, but I want to build a proper standard Vue.js application. They would they would use our platform. And you know they fly when they use our platform because they understand everything because we basically stick to the code. So all the logic uh, is close to the code. So when developers you know use our platform, they usually build you know ten times faster than if if they would have to code uh, their front end. Otherwise, we have uh, product people using our platform. So those guys usually have a good knowledge of how the web works. Uh, you know how the API are working and. How, how you would uh, you know structure database and that type of things, but they just don't know how to to code their front end. But they're familiar with tools like Webflow, etc. It's really made rather for professional or or experts, I would say, and that's where we position ourselves. Just like if you would compare Wix with Webflow, let's say, you know, that's the positioning. I would say, you know, uh, Stacker and Software are closer to Wix, and WeWeb, I would say, is closer to Webflow and Bubble in terms of complexity and, and who is using our platform. Yeah. So there is kind of like this similar with Xano when you want to graduate into doing something a little bit more complex, uh, a little bit more scalable then you would come to a tool uh, like WeWeb to do that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Wonderful. Well, just as we close, I, I would love for you to share anything else um, with the audience of users that's uh, that's watching this around um, you know, using WeWeb or using WeWeb with a tool like Xano. But I know, I know you, you're not just working with Xano. I know you also work with Superbase. It doesn't matter what backend you have, which is great. Um, anything else that you want to share there or even exciting plans that people can look forward to? Yeah, sure. So first of all, I think like, you know, I deeply believe that the Xano and WeWeb stack um, is truly amazing and it's truly you know, revol revolutionizing uh, the no-code landscape. Uh, because for probably the first time, you know, we are seeing users building very complex, very scalable web applications that you would think, you know, you would have to code to actually ship, but no. I mean, you know, you can use no code to do this. We, you know, Xano and WeWeb are part of a wave uh, of, of new no code tools um, that will enable, you know, anyone or, you know, most people to build a very complex web applications much faster than before. If there's one thing I'd like to share, it's probably my enthusiasm to, to seeing our, 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 our platforms basically growing together with this market. That's wonderful, Rafael. Well, thank you so much for the time today and for sharing all this information with us. Uh, we truly appreciate it. And we love being partners with you guys. We love having a shared user base. So um, next time, I think everyone happy building. Yes, thank you so much.